Let's bring that up one more on each side. Or take it out a little bit more on this side. You know what? I kind of like the idea of having a little little gap. Let's not squeeze things in. Why, why am I being so inclined to do that? Something there, something here. The utilities can then go at the top. Doesn't allow for enough. This will give me five janitors, though, and that's probably all I need, realistically speaking. So, how about we change up the shape a little bit? And instead, I do have it go lengthways. Janitor station can go there. Bring this in. Let me create a nice shape for it. Completely unnecessary, but it's going to add to the roundness factor of these areas. And I like that. Okay, get that made. Just as soon as I pop that in there. Okay. And at this point, I can have a little, little road branching off. Go over there. Three, four. And I'm going to just bring this across over here. All the way. Do I need to make it this wide? Probably not. But I'm going to anyway. Okay, let's allow that to go through. Uh, I don't believe I have plazas at the moment. I'll be under the entertainment, won't it? But there's, uh, it would be a stage, I am assuming you mean. We are very much back to not having enough food. Grave concern. So more... The problem is, I, I just don't have enough... Because so many of them are working here at all times. Um, I'm going to say the recruits limit is 10 from now on. I know expanding that out is important. We will get there. However, I think right now it's going to be more important for me to get more farms. Uh... Another fruit farm, perhaps? Or a vegetable farm? Um... Go for another fruit farm. Losing a lot less now because of the low fertility. It's painful, but go ahead and make that happen. It's going to cost us a lot of fruit in order to get that on the go. So I am going to have to trade for some more fruit. Uh, so let's go ahead and set up a trade order for another 100 fruit. That is fine. Let's have a look at my training grounds. Uh, 
can I click on them? No? Oh, there we go. Just need to hover. My bad. <coughs> right, one of them is fully trained. Nice. The other should be fairly close behind then, in that case. Right. Let's hold there. Right, so we've got a bunch of people working in here now. We've got 14 presently. I kind of want that, but I also don't. Uh, we'll allow it for now. But we are going to need to get that set up soon. And when this delivery gets here... Oh, it already has, actually. But looks of it. Yeah. It's a good amount of food in there. Green is starting to stockpile. We're going to sell that off in a bit. But we're about to dump a lot of our fruit into the fruit farm construction. Yeah, all the fruit's gone. Bit of a pain, that, but it is what it is. Right, okay, so we have... Where's the... Where can you see how much science you have these days? Oh, it's over here. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm just... I'm learning where to look for different bits of information now. Okay, so we finally have some money with which to decide some things. Um, I can upgrade my food store. We are no longer primitive savages. This technology allows a new layout for our food stalls and will increase our eating satisfaction. Oh, lovely. Uh, we can get plumbing. That's a fairly easy go for. Uh, we can also get entertainment for a hundred. Actors enact elaborate plays and musical performances. Whether they are applauded or pelted with rotten fruits, there's fun to be had by all. We're probably going to get one of those. Uh, getting a ref uh, refined eatery seems like a good one. Getting this is also quite useful. Market enables marketplace that is fit for the nobility. Oh. That's actually quite big. Basements, which allows you to expand your houses a bit more. Uh, we've got paved roads. You can get dire stone and regular stone. We can go for hunting, though, and I think this is a solid one. Uh, we've also got um, edible crop optimization. And then fruit farm bonuses and vegetable farm bonuses. Uh, we've got the animal husbandry one, which is, again, another another big one. Getting the something which will allow us to make use of some of the uh, materials that we've got is going to be a, a big push. Getting that on our Aurox means that we get more, not just more meat, but also more leather, also more livestock, which we can sell. So that was a that one's very worth it. I think we're going to go for our hunt, uh, hunting, though. Because right now, we are hurting for food. So it makes sense for me to invest in this. There are 10 levels of it. I'm not going to push it any further just yet. Uh, we've got military training grounds. Uh, elevate your drill sergeant's ability to turn out good troops in a short order. So that speeds things up. Um, it's axes. Where's the carpentry, though? Ah, here we are. Makeshift weapons. So this will give us war hammers. It would also give us the ability to make a bo uh, Um Honestly, going for makeshift weapons makes some sense for me. Cudgels, wooden spears, and stone hammers aren't very terrifying, but they're better than nothing. This recipe is extremely inefficient, but can help hold off bandits until you get a metal industry up and running. Now, from what I recall, you can forget... Um, you can forget learned items. Is that correct? Right, so I can pick this up now, but then once I get to a point where I'm, uh, I can get proper weapons, I can I can remove that out. So that actually works really well. Now we've got a couple of other options, 
But I think ultimately, although it's going to cost me a little bit to get there, uh, I'm going to take this. It's going to make our carpenters a little bit better. We've got people demanding furniture for nearly every project you conceive of. Uh, so carpenters are just going to be a little bit more efficient. I don't know if that means that they, they are resource efficient. That is to say, they make more with less. Or they're just faster. But either way, picking that up, there's only three levels of it. So it's a pretty solid one. Uh, we will go for this one next. So I just need to wait for a little bit more learnings to be done. And then we're going to have our carpenter. Oh, actually. That's a bit of a rough one. Because I'm gonna, I would need to set up a carpenter specifically to make that. Hmm. It's not, not something I would like to do. Four of six, good. Let's get that on the go. Still got three days worth of food. If you have a look at our hunter. Uh, so species plus technology combined. It's given us 15.84 per day. So that's uh, an increase of 3.84. Certainly not terrible. Production last year was 156. Estimated this year is 256. That's actually really good. Oh yeah, it, it the way this game deals with makeshift weapons isn't that the weapons are less effective, they are equally effective. The difference comes in how expensive it is to make them. So the the cost of making them let's put that all the way up to five. Uh, the cost of making them is uh, resource deeply resource inefficient. Is what I understand of the situation. We've got seven days of food now. Okay, this is emboldening me. Should I be so emboldened? It is a, an important question. Um, and also, no, hunters do not hunt to extinction anymore. They go off map and, and go hunting elsewhere. Hey, Leafin, how you doing, buddy? Always great to see you, mate. How much we, uh, we've got 240 that's perfect okay so makeshift weapons we will pick this up either that or i just go straight for bowyuri hmm. what say you chat bowyuri or makeshift weapons. Do I just train archers and, and rely on our archers to uh, attack, the, you know, eliminate the threat before they get close? Oh, thank you very much, Levin. Happy cake day, Avak. Thank you, buddy. Screw glorious melee, blacken the sky with your arrows. I see uh, Lego Fish has a very strong opinion about this. But I'm willing to hear out the rest of the chat. Anyone else have an opinion before I make a choice? I'll also invest a little bit more in this. And I think I will. Okay, are we going to be pesky elves or poor dwarves? That is the real question. Uh, is, it, is my option really that that dire? Uh, well, I guess I need to wait a little bit longer then, uh, just to get Bowyuri. But sure, we'll we'll go for Bowyuri. But then I'm gonna need. Well, actually, ooh, wait, 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 wait. That is gonna involve more research than I have got. 
Um, because... Oh, yeah, no, no, I, I need a lot to go to bowyery. I need to unlock archery, and that is expensive. So, no. No, we're not going for that. Sad, but true. Um, that costs 500. Uh, all right. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade refined tastes. Right, slow things down a little bit. Because I want to see what is involved in upgrading this. 24 pottery. Oh, that means I'm going to need to have pottery as a constant. But all right. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to purchase some pottery. What's the prices for that? That's 104 up to 151. Uh, I'll say 125 for now. Middle of the road. And I want you to buy up to 20% of total storage space. I could push th something through for that one right away. Um, the, the reason, well, I don't need that much pottery. But once I'm building with pottery, I maintain with pottery. Which is the tricky thing. I'm not giving you that. I'm still so not giving you that. I might tolerate this, but no. Alright, what do you want? What can I give you? All of this. Oh, good lord. That's worth a lot. Oh, my lord. Leaf in. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you, Demi. Demi is on the job. Good lord. My goodness, that came out of nowhere. Thank you very much, Mods. Where would we be without you? I don't want to. Sell, well, I guess it doesn't really matter if I sell these. I'm not using them right now, so I can sell them. Uh, and in exchange, I'll get rid of that, and I will purchase even more pottery. So... Let's bring you down. Let's go for 40. 35? 35. You know what, I'll let you have a little bit of extras. Because this is constantly pulling down our prices, except uh, you've got a lot of people there. They are they are quite happy with us right now. Oh, it looks like your daughter. Uh, sorry, daughter. Uh, it looks like uh, well, I think what I could be wrong about that. The third heir got in. Nice. Um, tariff is fairly low. Toll is normal. Okay. Well, we're going to have pottery on its way, so I'll be able to then upgrade this. And honestly, if I maintain a stock of pottery, that's actually not terrible. Since it means people... I'm not using tools right now, so... I, while that does give me... That would potentially give me a bit of a bump. It's not that super important to me. However, making sure that I've got the available uh, clothes is an uh, important one. Uh, do I have clay nearby? No, I would have to br bridge over there to get it, sadly. I mean, it's an option, but it's not one I'm ready to go for just yet. 
Right. The mods are probably equipped, unlike Avak's army at the moment. Also, yeah. No, Riley Finn? They're coming in here advertising bots for $150 in this economy? Know your market. Also know that I could probably create a bot that would be better than anything you could sell me. What's worse is I'd enjoy it. And then I would create a bot that would be able to hunt you down. I don't know what I'd have it do once it got there. Probably just annoy the hell out of you, frankly. Because somehow that's more terrifying. Just like, you know, it, it would be the spoon. All over again. Just every time you look behind yourself, it's there. Armed with a spoon. Not the spoon! Indeed. Also, chat, have you noticed yet? I haven't seen anyone comment about this. But I... I took such, such pleasure in doing it, and no one has commented on it. Yes, Russ Pixie. The door. The door. Behold, Chad. Behold the door. I spotted it when you did it. Just my chaos gene kept me from saying anything. Aha, I see. It's such a nice looking door. Yes. Look at it. Oh, I didn't see it until you. Haha. <laughs> but now you know it's there, Jamie. Sorry, Avak, I'm not noticing much right now. I'm looking because it's 9.30 p.m. And I'm making a bolognese because I have control of my life. Well done. I approve. Okay. So, <clears throat> now that we've got some research flowing in, and we have unlocked the ability to change the recipe here unfortunately you can only have one recipe active it seems which sucks um oh i can do both of these i can do both of them huh, huh. Right, okay uh i'm gonna make I think I'm going to expand this out to have stone and leather brought in here. And I might just honestly keep this place producing for a while. Or I just have two of these set up. One for stone, one for leather. Or two for stone and two for leather. Either way, that would actually work. In fact, one, two, three, four. One, two, and one, two. There we go. They should be able to handle this. Uh, they've actually got a high workload, so I might in fact, give them a little bit more help. Uh, we are now going to add in the Carpenter. And the Carpenter is going to be set up somewhere around here. Now, these aren't going to be very large carpenters. Can I reduce it to f yeah I can reduce it so only th oh really only three people would work there I kind of want five so how much do I need to increase it to allow for five there we go. Uh, we're gonna want storage it's not gonna be a lot of storage here I would say and we want an auxiliary workbench okay but 
Can I make this better? Auxiliary workbench like that? That's still 100%. So, with that done, we tuck that in. And now, you see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. And when I do this, we're going to have a little, little kind of nook in here. A little plaza area for our carpenters to go into, like the ones who are going to be working on the shields and the warhammers. Also, speaking of building shields and warhammers for our militia to defend against raiders. Hello, Nucrium. How are you doing? Hopefully well, mate. Why, why have we got pants in chat? What? Hmm. <sighs> pants raid. It's okay. It's all right, Dapplings. It's, don't judge them too harshly. They've just not known the joy of a well-fitted robe. They've probably gone through their life thinking that uh, your humdrum bath robes that you get from the local supermarket are the be-all, end-all of robe comfort. They've never known the joys that you have. But you know how to show them. That building will look like a bunny. Oh my god. Why have you done this to me? Now I can't not see it. <laughs> Supermarket bathrobes? I'm shopping at the wrong place. <laughs> Don't you can't you get bathrobes at your local supermarket? Is it have I accidentally discovered another thing? What? Alright. Let's put a little door there. Punk. Alright, let's get another carpenter as well. Uh, where would that be? That would be crafting carpenter. Uh, we want Hugh to be around here. We are currently playing a bit of Songs of Six, as I understand it, if I recall correctly, at the very least. Uh, Nucrium is no stranger to this game. So, do you need me to give you a quick lowdown? Raiders on what this game is Do not be shy. I'm happy to explain There we go we'll pop a little storage over here as well and then pop another door right up there There we go fantastic another little carpenter all set up now <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna have enough people to run both of these carpenters, but uh, we'll see what we can do All right, let's have a look Walmart, sure, but not a supermarket. But, I mean... Okay, but explain to me... When it comes to your supermarket, what exactly makes them super? If not the ability to buy bathrobes? Because they, they sound decidedly average markets to me from, from what you're describing. I do love the fact that this is now a carpenter rabbit. Best accidental decoration ever. I'm going to want some ears there and a nice big chunky bunny ear right there. Uh, one day we will have flowers all over the place, but we'll just have flowers around there for now. I'm also going to need to add in Structures and a ceiling right there so they get out there A supermarket equals a grocery store for a lot of people in the USA. Ah, I see I mean Even like primarily grocery like for it to be a supermarket over here It would need to do more than just sell groceries you, We've definitely got got like a big sort of franchised grocery stores that are large and, and pretty much sell all of the general kind of food stuff you'd want. They probably have, have a fishmonger there, a butcher, a bakery. Um, they might sell a cup like confections, all of that kind of stuff uh, in addition to regular groceries. But for it to be a supermarket, usually it has to do a lot more like you can buy clothing there uh, that's a that's a pretty common one buying clothing um like uh 
I don't know, uh, like uh, bathroom and, and uh, sanitation products, that sort of stuff. Um, Walmart is a supermarket because it's a big box store that sells a little bit of everything. See, we've got places that sell a little bit of everything too. But... When it's just a single store, it somehow always always does the job poorly, in my opinion. <laughs> like, I would prefer to go to an actual arcade. And, like, for us over here, I don't know if it's a similar term in America, but an arcade is like... Uh, if you imagine... If you imagine a roofed high street... It... Traffic doesn't go through it. It's foot traffic goes through it. But it, it's a broad walkway, very broad. And along each side is an assortment of shops. It's not a mall, because a mall is a much more... Uh, well, I, I guess it, it, walls are probably the same thing, but they've got more of a modern twist, and quite often they'll have a bit more of a theme at least over here. Like, an arcade, f for us, a little bit oldie-worldy. But then again, that's that's just Britain for you in general. You know, it's like, you go in into an arcade and you, you never know what kind of shop you're gonna stumble into. Go into the wrong one and you fall through a portal and end up in Narnia. True facts. Happened more than once. Usually arcades over here don't have any parking, for example, but that that's... And I think that might be the, the big thing, because, like, we do have, like, malls, and they're often, like, built in business parks, or, like, they're on the outskirts of town, and they're a big affair. Big flashy lights, enormous car park capacity. They're built for huge amounts of traffic, whereas an arcade is usually in the middle of a town that's about 400 years old. It doesn't have parking there. Because cars weren't really a thing. So it's just people walk in and then they come out the other side and they're like buried beneath an enormous pile of stuff they've bought. They look like the, the trash woman from Labyrinth just walking around with this enormous shell, like new house on their back, kind of strapped on with, with pulleys. It's great. Right, what are we waiting for over here? We are always... Always and forever waiting on more wood. So let's uh, increase that a little bit. Uh, what is our rage trance? Rage, rage trance is going back up. Uh, I'm going to need more telapis, though. We'll have to have a look into this. Arcade is for Pac-Man and Skee-Ball. Ah, like... Uh, yeah, it's a games arcade. Right, right, I get you. Like cabinets, gaming cabinets and all that. Yeah, so a shopping area older than certain other countries. Yeah, that's pretty much it, Russ Pixie. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, yes. Uh, but right now, uh, we are kind of early on. We're playing with the latest patch of, uh, of Song of Six. And, oh my lord, so much has changed. I don't know when the last time you played this, Lucreen, was, but uh, I am I am spending most of my time right now just learning. It's kind of wild. Chat, is this time for us to get some Dondorians? Do we want to get some dedicated crafty crafts on the go? There's a possibility we might want to. They're easy to please because they just require basic stuff. Um... Yeah, I think it's time to dwarf. But I do still need other... So I'm going to grab 10 more Telapis as well. But we're going to start building up our dwarf population. There we are. I'll give them a little bit of everything so that they're happy. Uh, a new level has been bestowed upon your name. We are now an Aprontix. An Aprontix is a conqueror. It is time we look to our offensive capabilities with a military supply depot and 
uh, we can now supply an army away from our town, either for aggressive or defensive purposes. We will defend ourselves by killing everyone who might attack us before they have a thought to attack us. It's the only way to be sure, Chad. If we don't make the first move, then they'll make the first move, and we can't allow that. Also, I need a name for a, labo a laboratory. I don't have any naming games redeemed, so uh, that laboratory goes without a name for now. And so does that janitor and this fruit farm. Oh, terrible days. Oh, well. Uh, but at this point, we might actually be starting to produce enough stuff down here to warrant moving people in. Periapsis. Uh, what did I my name go to? I purchased one earlier. Uh, let's have a look. Where did Periapsis' name go? Periapsis Profiteers. You are importing... Oh, sorry. You are exporting our excess livestock and also our excess furniture. Okay, we have got Soralosol. Um, yeah, I know we go with solar. Let's elaborate all these. I wish I could type. My God. Solar laboratories. Thank you very much, Sir Alasol. Done and done. And now, what were the other ones we needed? We needed a fruit farm. Fruit farm number two. And this one should... <laughs> God, kiwis can fly. Uh, yes, kiwis... And... Hmm. See, this one's too easy. Kiwis are a fruit. Um, kiwis can fruit flies. Sure. There you go. Kiwis can't farm. They can't, though. Not, not usually. Uh, janitor. Entranced by the wild. Entranced. Fixings. Yeah. Okay, it's late, chat, okay? I don't know what you expect from me. Uh, how are you doing? You're not happy. You will get happy. Ooh. Oh, damn. Have we got someone that you can sleep? No, we do not. Right. We need more housing then. But this housing does need to be over on this side. I need to look at the noise first. Okay, noise is actually okay. We can get some housing over here, perhaps. Maybe make another little... Maybe this would have access enough down there for it not to be a problem. But I think maybe having a couple of houses and maybe a, a new kind of uh, plaza around here would be good. I've been sort of feeling that we need... More, more space for a little while. Now, Dondorians actually do have some preferences in this regard. Environment. Road swimming building. Uh, yes. They prefer stone. 50%. And then uh, grand stone, 70%. They don't like cannibalism. They prefer it. no cannibalism in this colony. Please and thank you. They don't like roundness. Well, actually, they prefer it to be zero. So they like they nice square buildings. And of course, I've made all of my carpenters uh, round buildings. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They are super happy. They like harmony. Dondorans, what do you like? Mm, you don't like harmony. Uh, you don't really care. You like lighting. You specifically like like lighting. Okay, well, I'm, I can square this off once we've got enough Dondorans to, to actually make that make sense for us. 
But housing first, made of stone. There we are, stone buildings. We're going to go with a longhouse, or two, or three. Uh, this one shall start off here, I think. Uh, actually, we're going to have this one start here. And I'm going to pop down two regular houses pointing in this direction. There we go. That will start us off fairly solidly, I would say. We can go back to this, and now I just need to make sure that my Dondorans are prioritized for the things that they're good at. Which means, carpenters, they are probably going to be the primary carpenters, yep. Yeah. They're going to be the primary crafts people, full stop. Let's make sure they've got plenty of roads, though. Otherwise they get angry. We don't want angry dwarves. But I will need to square off these rooms a little bit more. Uh, yeah, they, they hate mining, but they're good at it. I, I appreciate that so much, by the way. <laughs> I love the idea of like... Oh, yeah, they're, they're amazing at doing it. They just don't like to. They hate it, in fact. Don't ask them to. But they, they are the best. So, I mean, I understand if you do. But you shouldn't, because they hate it. And they'll hate you. All right. Speed things back up. All right. Our researchers are back to researching, which is good. <gasps> Oh no! I forgot. Factions. Diplomacy. I would like to trade. I bought all of that stuff and then I didn't use any of it. As a consequence. Oh, wait, that's wrong. Uh, as a consequence, it's decayed. So I didn't even get any any use out of it. Much sadness. That'll do. Except. But hopefully we will continue to just buy it. We will start giving it out to folks as well. Where's my, my music gone? God darn it. There we go. We'll hopefully get more, but we'll see. I can specifically mark housing for certain people. So, for example, I can go in here. Uh, assign for Dondora. Uh, let's cancel everyone. Uh, cancel all. I want these specifically for my Dondorans. Most of the other homes, I don't care. But these ones in particular... I'm going to want to go to Dondoran... Settlers. Because they'll... Especially like these uh, buildings. So they'll prioritize going here, because no one else can. And also they should be... Oh. A subject of your... Yours has become sick. Sickness is tied to your subject's health. In early game, there's not so much you can do about this, except for keeping the city clean, but as the city grows, you must provide your people with doctors and hospitals. Well, I don't have either, so they're just going to have to hope that it isn't uh, a serious sickness. There are mountains near... Well, no, not near nearby, but there are some. So I could move my um, production industry down there in time, but that's not something we would do right away. Right, that's going to force my Dondorans to uh, occupy these locations. Right, let's slow this down a little bit. Uh, don't auto-employ. Never auto-employ. Only ever employ as I request. I want Warhammers. Go. Wow! I will produce... It's painful. 
It's going to cost me... 32.14 per day. Wood. 21.43 stone per day. And I will produce one Warhammer per day. Dear Lord. They weren't... No, they were not kidding when they said it was inefficient. They were being very, very, very serious. Uh, there's a stone supply over there. I could set up a mine down there. There's also a stone deposit down here that I could uh, set up a mine for and then have transporters bring the stone up. That's probably a wise move. Where are you? Um... It would be wonderful if you would just take a how It truly would. I mean, your fulfillment is going up at least, but at this rate, we're going to lose our Dondoran. Uh, this one should be making shields. You're going to go through a shocking amount of wood. And to that end, I'm going to have to reduce the access to wood of my other cultures. Painful, but I'm going to need to in order to uh, maintain it. This produces 84 a day. That does not cover what we're going to be using, sadly. I guess the other thing I could do is just drop the amount of people working on it. Actually, wow. Don't auto employ, but uh, that's interesting. Can I not do this one? Oh, there we go. We'll see how that goes. But right now, I drastically don't bring enough wood. I need to set up another, another wood cutters down here. I would say. Uh. Only 4.8% now, great chance. I'm going to go in and we're going to edit you. I'm going to say you're allowed a shield. And oh. Warhammer is two handed. Makes sense, of course, but painful, all the same. Um, I could have both of them work towards that goal, but... Uh, yeah, let's get them both working on it. It's not ideal, but... Increasingly, I'm regretting setting all of this up, frankly. Uh, might have been better just to have a single... A single area. Get the conscripts are going to get weapons. Dondoran is still not moved in. Where are you living? Exactly. Have you got a house yet? No. Huh. All right. Well, that is what it is. Right, we've got the... Oh, we've got the uh, upgrade. So, pomp. There we go. Oh, look at that. Fancy market stalls. This is now maximally upgraded. Quality is 100% at this point. Oh, wow. Look at the f very fancy tiling, too. I approve. Food-wise, we seem to be in a bit of a better place. Could still be better, though. Um...
Yeah, I did set the Dondorans up with uh, resource ac uh, accessibility, yeah. I think ultimately I probably want to pull this down. I've used a lot of resources in this, and it pains me to do so. But I don't have the resources to make this work. Especially the stone. The stone is, uh, in particular, a problem. I think it would be better to have a single one. So as much as I've invested in all of this, it's... it's oh well. Uh, can I repurpose it? I don't think there's other things that I could repurpose it for. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe. Maybe there is. Um, where's the tailor? Clothing would go a long way for saving your people from extreme weather, but where's the armory? Ah, okay, so I'd have to go down there, but I could. Yeah, I could invest 200 and all. Yeah, okay. You know what? This works. This this does work. Uh, right, so we're going to be done with this one. Going to del delete this room in its entirety. There we go. Now, let's hope that this will store... Oh. Where would the tailor be, then? Weaver? Oh! Right, you can scroll it. We're good. Pop that down there. Workbench. Number five, auxiliary station. There you go. And storage. All right. Not terrible, actually. Not a bad idea. Go ahead. Um, bit of a potch, because now I'm going to have to reinvest in getting all of that set up, but that's not terrible. Yay! Yes! <laughs> you really have taken to this this bunny kind of thing going on there, haven't you? Fair enough. I mean, it is quite cute. I'm not going to lie. Uh... Right, let's have a look in here. Change recipe. I don't want to be making clothing. Oh, I kind of do, actually. Um, make me leather armor. I consume our leather up reasonably fast, but that'll work. Do you know how skeletons are able to see you without eyes? Yeah. The skeleton inside you is telling them where you are. I haven't gotten water and pumps yet, no. Is there anything else I really want to grab? I probably should increase the amount of uh, laboratories I've got. Or expand my laboratory, I should say. Right. Well, we're going to give them more hammers and we're going to give them leather armor. Accept this, it's going to greatly improve their uh, equipment. They're going to be significantly more dangerous. Actually, would Dondorans be a better fighting force? Probably. Oh god, the loyalty hit for taking on an extra Dondoran. Do not appreciate it. 
is ping. Uh, we need more of everything, uh, but specifically, right now I've got enough stone to last, but we're going to need more. No, we need a lot more. Also, I'm going to need more, uh, more lumber. So I'm thinking a second large woodcutter would be a wise move. Oh, we're up to one, two, one research. Will this tell me roughly how much we'd be able to store? Um, about one point one two k. Okay, yeah, we've got a, we've got enough to go a little bit further, actually. Uh, let's see. Could improve my hunting a little bit more, get some more food. I could pick up an enter a stage. Wouldn't be a bad choice. I could pick up plumbing to improve the fertile uh, fertility of some of my uh, uh, my setups. Um. 